Hi everyone. So this is just a quick video to show you how to sign up for your MyLab IT account. And if I slip and say My IT Lab, that's because they changed the name and I'm still getting used to it. Sorry. Now, if you've already had a class where you've used a MyLab and you already have a Pearson account, then this is very easy. All you need to do is sign into your account and enroll in the new class using the course ID number that's given in the syllabus. You guys, I'm not worried about. It's the people that haven't used a MyLab account before, don't have an account with Pearson. You need to start from scratch here. So here we are at myitlab.com, although in the address bar, you're going to see something a little bit different, but this is where it takes you. You'll see the last portion of the address says My IT Lab. Um, so this screen is where you either sign into your existing account or you create a new account. And of course, since we're focused on people that don't have an account, that's where we're going. So we go to this button that says register now student. That's easy enough. You need these three things to get started. Your email address, your instructor's ID, an access code, credit card, or PIP app. Yeah, that one you don't need quite yet. And the course ID is, of course, in your syllabus. Email address. We would prefer that you use your school email. Um, but to be honest, I don't do any big messaging through my lab. I do all of my contacting, contacting with you through Canvas. So really, if you use a personal email, it's not going to be a big deal, but you know, do you really want them to know your personal email? Use your school one. You know, it's free. Why not make use of it? So we've got all the stuff we need. We click on OK, register now. I clicked. There we go. Find your course. Let's get you to the right place. Copy and paste your course ID. OK, now this is in your syllabus and I'm using the one for my first or my first beginning CIT 15 in fall of 2022. So if you're seeing this video later on, make sure that you check your syllabus for the correct course ID. Um, so the course ID for this one, and they all start with Fresno City College, all in lower case. Notice that it's offering me one of the previous IDs there. Um, but, you know, I have a new one. Two, three, four, two, one, two, one. All right. Again, if it's a different course that you're signing up for because it's later this semester or it's a whole next year thing, just make sure you check your syllabus for the correct course ID. Continue to register. All right, I think it's recognized me, so I need to say create an account. There we go. You may not see that one. Okay. Um, so I'm signing up with a completely fraudulent account. It's going to you know, offer stuff my browser already you know, knows about me, various things. Uh, but here's where you put in your email address. Now, since I'm creating a fraudulent account, I'm doing this for my dog. Um, so her email address is, and please don't send her emails because I don't check it, Daphne Doodle 415 at gmail.com. Got to confirm that. Daphne Doodle 415 at gmail.com. I got the same thing twice. Yes. All right, so username, now you can choose that. It can go ahead and be your email, or it could be your name. It could be, uh, you know, anything you want. I'm going to go ahead and use her email. And then password. Please write this down. Nobody's going to steal your MyLab password and do your homework for you. So you don't need to worry about keeping this a secret. But I can't get you back into your account if you forget your password. So write it down. For Daphne, we're going to use her AKC name. 
wind in the, oh, turn on the show so I can see what I'm typing here. Wind in the laurels. Okay. Ooh, it's got to have a number. Okay. Wind in the, well, she's wind in the laurels number one because she's the only one. Better write that down in case I forget. Wind in the laurels one. See, I'm writing it down. Do as I do. Yeah. Now, when it gets to adding your name, please give yourself the respect of capitalizing your own name. I can't tell you how many students don't do that. And I mean, maybe it doesn't bother you. It bothers me a little bit. So do it. Huh. Okay, so Daphne, last name, Jones, country, United States. Helps if I spell states right. You know, it's not that easy to talk and type at the same time. Okay, United States, and your role is student. Then you have to agree to the terms and create your account. And hopefully I did everything right and it's going to be good. Okay. Don't want to save that password. Account created. Continue. Yay. So far, so good. If you forget your password, we'll text you a code to reset it. Now, this is where you could put in your cell number. I'm not going to put in mine because I've written down my password. You might want to go ahead and do that, you know, just as a safeguard um, because, you know, people do forget their passwords. Uh, so I'm going to skip. Are you sure I want to skip? Yes, I'm sure I want to skip. But, you know, probably you don't want to skip that. Now, Here's where you need your access code or you need to pay or you need to sign up for the 14 day free trial. Yeah, you can go ahead and do this without paying yet, but you've got to get that paid by week three or else you will be dropped from the class. You have to have a fully paid active account. Now, if you get the access code from the bookstore, I'm pretty sure this is going to cost you more money than it will do to use a credit or debit card or PayPal here. This is the best price that we can negotiate. So I strongly suggest doing it here. If you go ahead with the 14 day free trial, which is, of course is what I'm going to do for my dog since she's not paying, um, you can come back Anytime within that 14 days, there will be a little button that you can push to say, you know, fully activate my account, something like that. We'll see it in a minute. Uh, make sure, of course, that you are looking at the correct course. This one is CIT 15, 22 fall, 34143. Make sure that my name is there as the course instructor. Um, you know, you just want to make sure that everything is the correct information before you give them any money. Uh, whether it's an access code, credit card, or PayPal, okay, or again, the 14-day free trial, that's what I'm going to go for. Temporary access, yes! And it'll take a minute to get this set up. You can twiddle your thumbs, check your emails, text messages. Well, oh, I'm done! Yay! Go to my courses. All right. Here we go. So this is going to take you to your account. Now, this is what I was talking about. Here's the box for our course. This pink button is where you go to upgrade your access to fully paid anytime within that 14 days. Please make it within that 14 days. It becomes increasingly difficult to get there after the 14 days expire. It's not impossible, but it's very difficult. And sometimes I have to intervene with tech support and we just don't want to go there. So let's not. So this is the button that you're going to click to access all of the features for my lab. 
This is where you go to upgrade your account to fully paid for. And that's all you need to know for now. We'll have a further video on how to negotiate, well, navigate, better word, yeah, navigate the stuff that you need to do within the course and use the simulations and all of that sort of thing. But since this one is focused on actually creating the account, we're done. So I will see you in the next video. Good morning.